Station Lima. Hey, hello, and welcome back to Swift Owl 7 Gaming. I am Swift Owl 7, and we're back in Astronauts' first look, and this is episode two. Now, just to remind you, a first look is not necessarily a let's play, though it does feel quite like that. We're going to do ten episodes, and we'll probably do a little bit more, maybe, possibly, it's possible. I'm not committing to anything. But one of the things I need to just clarify is there was a glitch. Um, I recorded this episode already, and it has... Uh, Corrupted. I can't open the file to edit it, to post it, to do anything. So, uh, I'm re-recording this episode, and what I'm actually going to do is be starting brand new, brand new over. And why I'm doing this is, in the very first episode, I made some critical mistakes, such as not taking the, uh, the space mask and helmet. And as a result, we discovered, well, you didn't discover with me, but I discovered, uh, playing episode two, uh, the first time that there are some docking fees that I could not pay. I could not leave the space station. It was pretty bad. Um, so we're just going to start a brand new game and we will play this game as long as we can. Hopefully not running into any more technical issues or, or just me struggling. Um, because this is a first look. That means I have no experience with this game. I have not watched any Let's Plays. I have not watched any demos other than what is on Steam. I guess a sip of coffee here. Mmm, boy. So we are back here and we are going to be starting all over again. We'll try not to rush through, but we'll try at the same time not to, um, uh, not to, um, Oh, what am I saying? I don't want to rush through, but we're not going to look at every single feature that we've already looked at. Does that make sense? I think it does. Um, so we've kind of already seen the character editor, so there's no need to comment on it. It is what it is. Um, I wish they had some more simplistic hairstyles. That's the one thing I will comment on. Um, we'll grab this one. Can we change the color of our hair? Uh, you just kind of have to go. I wish I had an independent feature to change colors of hair. And I don't know if we're a girl or a guy. Um, let's just randomize this a little bit more. Uh, I'm looking for just something that we had. That's okay, I guess. We don't need any scars. Glasses are fine. Eyes are a little bit weird. Beard's a little... Let's go with the uh, Riker beard, right? Uh, you'll remember I'm a big Star Trek fan. Let's open our eyes a little bit, eh? Um, I'm a very big Star Trek fan. And... Um, we're just going to call ourselves Swift. Okay, you all know who I am. Hey, we're actually starting with a dollar more. Isn't that cool? Um, so let's go ahead and click Done. Now we've read this, uh, go back to episode one if you want to take a look at this uh, again. Um, so we're not gonna go ahead and read this. Um, now, do we want to seek our own ship? Um, spend the year taking risks and hoping to get ahead. I think we want to seek our own ship. And this is the ship that it's going to put us with this time. Um, so it's a small salvage pod. Uh, it is an ad, there's an ad for our Roca TU-70A compact salvage pod. So it's not our um, shuttle that we had last time, but, you know, it looks like a good ship. Uh, these models are simple, mostly just life support and thrusters, but um, they work just fine with local travel in the boneyard. Um, this particular TU model uh, available has a smaller floor plan, making it more fuel efficient and lightweight than other Roqa models. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, I think we can take this. It's a heck of a payment per shift, and uh, we're going to continue, uh, or, or take that rather. We're not a proud owner of it. So let's go ahead and hop into the game. 
Okay, um, we kind of know what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and talk power. Um, we are gonna follow the tutorial, kind of, sort of. Um, it wants us to take inventory and we're gonna put things on that it wants us to do. Uh, there should be a shoe over here. Pick that up. Um, what's this button? Social moves, okay, I don't know what that is. Um, we're gonna go over here and take, this is what we didn't take last time that we need to take this time. So, um, there should be a backpack laying around here somewhere. Um, well one, we are gonna need to take our full box. item um, that we do get to pick up. Where, oh, this is it right here. Hello. Um, and that's going to allow us to hold some stuff here, such as our pressure suit and our suit helmet. And that, that suit, as I was fiddling around with it last time, that works pretty well. I, I kind of completely understand how it works. Um, we'll grab um, our drink. I think we'll go ahead and we've already read this so I'll just leave it up here for just a second and you can read it okay I'm gonna go ahead and continue we're gonna need to install this so if you are playing this through for the first time um, you definitely want to do this I find it strange because we don't actually work on the station and we can go ahead and speed this up to 16. It's as fast as you can go. Um, and that's pretty fast. And we're gonna go ahead and press play. And that brings us right back down immediately to, uh, to uh, normal speed. Let's grab our tactical knife. Let's keep that in our hip pocket. Um, we got this uh, Halverson Friction Stir Welder. So I think we will uh, grab that, throw that in our pocket. Got some food vendors down here we're not too concerned about right now. Um, we really just need to get to our airlock, which is right down here. And let's explore our ship. So it's a little littler ship, and that's unfortunate. I really like the bigger ship that we had, but you know it is what it is. There's uh, just kind of familiarize ourselves. What's this switch for? Um, oh, okay. I was just checking it out, just seeing what that was for. Good to know. Transponder battery. Um, yeah, there's no place to store stuff. That's kind of the. Uh, only downfall but we're gonna follow the uh, tutorial press X and we can see that things are worn out a little bit it's gonna want us to repair the nav station as we did in our previous episode so let's go ahead and click restore and we'll speed this up um, and I will grab a sip of coffee I hit a button I hit one thinking that that would make this go normal speed that just put me into that chair so huh, that was that um we don't need to worry about this i don't think um oh we got some abbreviations here so that's uh remaining fuel in minutes that's good to know um we'll read that another time <laughs> okay uh we have a couple things it wants us to use the nav station to look around local space I'm not sure what that means, um, because I've never been able to clear this uh, from our, 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 so is this system, I'm not sure, 
you know, I've zoomed out all the way, and you'd think that that would clear this. But if I go back in to local space, what's it wanting us to do here? This is local space, I'm imagining. I've done it. I've done it. I really have. I'm not sure what else you want from me. Um, but we've got all these derelicts out here that we can go and explore in a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on the comms. It's going to want us to undock here. And then it's going to give us a little tutorial of how to calibrate our system. It's really just a flight tutorial. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, request undocking clearance. Now, when we dock here next time, we're def we're definitely not undocking unless we pay a fee. So, and it's a pretty hefty fee in my opinion. Um, of course, I don't know how much stuff is worth because I've never actually sold anything yet. So let's go ahead and click clamps. We are free. Go back to our control station. We're going to clear the proximity warning because we're just close to the port. Um, we are going to want to target uh, the OKLJ LG sta space station. And it's going to give us some things. It wants us to rotate our ship. We can go ahead and do that. It's going to tell us to uh, press Q until we stop spinning. Okay, we've pressed R. We have stopped our spin. It's telling us now to uh, go to a bearing of zero with the uh, with the station. What's this uh, range? So we're really close to the station. It's just a proximity. Um, so get this bearing as close to zero as we can. And that's pretty close. Um, we are going to calibrate our thrusters now by pressing S. That's going to back us away from the station. It wants us to take this that us up to 400 uh, meters per second. So we're looking at this right here for front and back, left and right, uh, essentially. So once we're at 400, we can go ahead and uh, slow down here, back to 10. It's kind of nice to be knowing what we're doing here a little bit. And that's going to do the same thing with going left and right. So we're going to fire our, our um, I guess tactically it would be our port thrusters if we're going to go starboard, right? So thrusting to the right, we're bringing it up to 400 uh, meters a second. Oh, we got that direction, but not this. Okay. And let's lower back down to 100. Okay. So, zoom. I'm going to get rid of this for right now because I don't know what else to do there. Um, zoom out minus and click uh, on an asterisk to target a derelict vessel. So let's zoom out and where do we want to go, guys? Um, how about this one? This one's all by itself. But this one's closer. Uh, let's go to this one here. And now we're gonna go ahead and travel within five kilometers of that target. So let's spin around. Okay, our bearing's pretty close there. We're gonna go ahead and Increase our speed, 400. Just adjust our angle a little bit. Now this is space, so uh, our, our highlighted, even though we're facing the right direction, we are still drifting a little bit to the left. Our inertia is just gonna take us, which is fine for right now. We can counter that. Uh, by telling us to steer a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got some uh, French vanilla coffee. Not my favorite, but I wanted something a little different than my usual. So 
So, uh, so far, so good. Things seem to be well to master. I was just kind of seeing what this is here. Okay. Okay, that's what all that stuff does. Okay, we are uh, getting to be within 17 kilometers of our target. So we're gonna want to slow down here in just a moment. In about 40 seconds, uh, we will be there. I don't think there's any need to speed up time at this point in time in our game. Um, so far, we're playing like a pro. Maybe, maybe we're maybe not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and slow her down just a wee bit. Write in the comments what you think about this uh, this this game here. Let's clear this. We know we're getting close. I want to bring us down to a full stop. Um, that's pretty close right there to a full stop. It's going to tell us to go ahead and switch to the comms. It's going to tell us to hail this unidentified vessel, which obviously uh, uncontrolled docking procedure. There's no one that's going to uh, respond. So... Um, initiate uncontrolled docking procedure. And this is pretty cool in our last episode, which, well, in episode one, we got to experience docking a little bit. Whoa, okay. And I think the docking process is pretty easy. Oh, man, this is touchy here. Kind of using this uh, center line here. We'll get centered a little bit better here right there you know there was a game what was it called you know it went abandoned it was a really cool space simulator um, and the developers just left everyone high and dry and it was like it started with an H uh, helium hi hi hydron uh, I don't remember now um, but it had like a complex I think there was a docking something docking in that uh, it was very complex similar to this style but just very very complex i think we just need to come over just a wee bit right there let's go ahead and clamp her up swift owl gains reminisce so we're going to leave the nav station open our inventory and put on our pressure suit and helmet um so Again, we've already seen first del uh, uh, der derelict con uh, contract contact screen. Read it if you wish. Um, we're going to go ahead and open our inventory. And one thing that I have realized with derelicts, I mean, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in the game. We need as much room in our inventory as we can. So we're going to put our boots on the ground. Uh, we're going to put this suit on the ground right here. We're going to go ahead and put on our pressure suit and our helmet. So I think we are doing pretty good right now. Um, let's go ahead and close this out and go over here. Looks like there's some stuff on the floor immediately. As we enter in here, we can see our atmosphere venting. Look at that, isn't that cool? Let's get in here. Um, can we uh, close that door right there? Okay. So that's pretty cool that you can see atmosphere venting. I really like that feature. Um, we're gonna stand right in the middle here, click on inventory and see what's on the ground. I don't know how much any of this stuff is worth. But we definitely want to uh, salvage what we can. And, and from what I've gathered, stacks can be stacks of 10. Things seem to stack in stacks of 10. So we've gone ahead and searched the ground. Um, I'm just looking. Uh, for anything else, any um, bins or anything. Let's go ahead and... So that door is locked, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to need to uh, either bash our way in, uh, repair, 
uninstall. Uh, we're going to scrap that door. I'm thinking that's what we want to do is scrap. So this is going to take us just a moment um, as this bar in the bottom uh, wears down. So let's go ahead and speed up just a wee bit. And resume back to normal. We'll step up here and go into our inventory and pick up. Uh, I'm not going to pick up any trash, but scrap carbon fi fiber. Um, that's kind of cool. That's what they built the uh, Titan out of that sunk in the Atlantic at the Titanic uh, site. Um, so we're not going to be building our spaceship with that. Um, small mechanical parts. Uh, we can put that here. We're sick to our uh, stomach. We are nauseous. Uh, we're experiencing hypercapnia. I'm not sure what that is, but we're feeling empowered, so that's good. So let's go ahead and close that up. Let's go ahead and walk into here. Um, looks like there's a door to our right. We don't have immediate access to that door, but there is a bin here. Let's go ahead and search that bin. It looks like there's uh, some, some good stuff here. There's a bed. Um, this is great, you know. Uh, I don't know that we can carry it though. So what we're gonna do, if we do that, can we do it? There we go. Um, let's go back to our ship and unload some of this stuff. And I'm gonna unload stuff on our main cabin floor here. So um, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna put this bed on the floor right there. Uh, along with uh, some of this stuff that's uh, taking up space. You know, I think we'll be able to stack some stuff there. These don't stack, so we'll put those there for right now. And we're going to definitely need to expand our ship with some storage bays, some bins. Uh, but I do like that things don't despawn. At least I haven't noticed that anyway. So back over into this part of the ship. Um, there's a bin right here that we kind of bypassed. We didn't see it the first time. Ammo casings, uh, this might be valuable. Um, there is a uh, light that we can turn on. So we should probably have that on. Um, just continuing in here, was there anything else in that bin? Um, a bulkhead bin, there was a heat sink, uh, a couple more motors, and again, those don't stack. And a heat sink. Okay, just another part of the component. Um, so and it looks like what's it? That's there's a door there that I can't seem to open. There's definitely a lot of stuff over there that we're going to want to explore. Looks like there's some stuff over here. Let's uh, take care of our inventory one more time. We're going to stand right here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, drop some more stuff. So Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these motors here. We'll put them down in the ground. Um, heat sink, can put those down in the ground. Uh, I just want to pack this ship tight with uh, this ship. I did not swear, this is a family friendly show. Uh, this, I want to pack this ship tight with, uh, with stuff. So um, we will do that. Was there anything else back here that we didn't get? I can't remember. Um, no, okay. And we search this bin, right? Just, just confirm, yes. Let's go right first. Let's go ahead and dismantle. We can try prying, but I don't think I have the wedge shaft rigid and tough handheld. Tool is handheld, wedge. Um, we got a hacksaw, a screwdriver. I don't think, unless we have to put them in our hands. I'm not sure how that works. But we're just gonna dismantle. Uh, that, that seems to work just fine. Where are we going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. Um. Okay, let's cancel tasks. Because that, that's not going as I anticipated it going. I'm not quite sure what we're doing, actually. This is a door. We can confirm this is a door. Let's try prying. We can't pry it. Let's try, uh, let's try this. Let's put this in our bag. Can we, uh... Hmm. 
still experimenting. This is what first looks all about, is experimenting with the game. Um, so this gives us light. And that gives us light. That's interesting. What gives us more light? I think they both give equal light. So we got high um, CO2. I was waiting for this uh, element to come in to play because in my previous attempt at recording this, it came into play. What we can do is now that we're in our ship, we can take off our helmet and kind of just refresh ourselves, And we can immediately put this back on. You don't have to leave it off for that long. Maybe, maybe we do need to. Uh, let's just see here. We'll take that off. Try to get in here. Okay, maybe we don't want to do that out in our outer chamber. Um, let's put this back on now. There we go. Okay. We were suffering there from hypoxia. Okay, that's great. Um, let's go back out here again. Good enough. So we can't seem to get through this door to our right. Um, let's go and, and look at this door over here. Um, you know, I doubt we're able to, it's, there's not even power to the door right now, so. Um, can we uninstall this, uh, oh, there's stuff up here. Did we even see this? I thought there was a wall here. So let's go up here. Um, this is just the, I just need to get used to this pixelated uh, uh, mm -hmm. graphics. So there's a fire extinguisher here. I'm not sure what we can do with that. But we will take it. I wish we could just take this whole crate, and I don't know. We can. Guys, this is great for us. Um, we're going to drag this back to our ship. I'm all about this. This is just a cool feature. I just, you don't see this feature in games where you drag stuff. Um, I like it. And how do we place this? Is there any specific way to place this bin? Um, if I drop it, it kind of snaps to place like that. And I'm okay with that. It's kind of back here. We can keep that there. Um, I like that. We definitely need a bigger ship, though. Um, So, I didn't realize this kind of... Here's another crate that we might be able to uh, drop, drag. Um, it's locked, though. Um, if we do a factory reset of it, it will reset the lock on this. So, that would be beneficial for us. And what we can do is just speed up time just a wee bit. As that blue bar at the bottom ticks down. So let me know, uh, have you guys played uh, Astronauts? It's been out since 2020. Um, had a message coming in from work, but we can take care of that later. Are we there yet? Okay, I think we are. So now we should be able to access Okay. Oh, kind of glitched out there. I'm kind of glitching out. So let's, um, I don't want to go back there. I'm not touching anything and I'm glitching out. Um, okay, we can, there are some helmets in here. A pressure, another pressure suit, um, a battery. We'll take all of that stuff, and what we'll do is put some of the stuff back in this crate on our ship. No, why will you leave it? I don't want to. Okay, something's going on here, guys, and I'm not entirely sure. Um, 
Yeah, we got problems now. Okay, we've completely deselected this, I hope, I think. Let's get back to our ship. For whatever reason, something is not... Uh... See, I'm not controlling my character. Um, is there a... There's something that should say cancel. Uh, cancel action. I don't want inventory. Okay, I think we're going to here now. Okay. <laughs> Woo! No, 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 no. What's... I think we found a glitch, guys. I think we have found a glitch in this uh, game. Um, I need to select this. I'm trying to click, click on cancel action when it pops up. And it pops up so quickly that I can't seem to... Okay, guys, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to save. Um, you can see some auto saves <laughs> that the game creates. But we're going to save. Uh, we're going to call this our first look. And we're going to create. I'm hoping that if we go to the menu that we exit the game. Um, so we've saved it. We should be able to exit to uh, menu. I'm hoping that it will recalibrate or reset whatever bug that is is there. We found a bug. We found a bug. Our first bug in the game. So let's continue our game. It's going to take us here. Auto save first look. Uh, that's fine. I got bad news. My coffee's getting cold. That's never a good thing. Okay. I think that was probably my last sip of that. But, hey, we drank most of it. I need one of those little coffee warmers that you plug into your computer. A little USB warmer. I know, that sounds kind of dangerous, drawing power like that. But, oh, what do I know? Um, I don't know much of anything uh, sometimes. So, we're kind of stuck are we stuck behind this thing? Oh, we're paused. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have problems. Oh, no, it's doing it again, guys. I'm going to dismantle this crate. Oh, maybe I'm not. Where, where are we going? What are we getting is the question. I'm not quite sure what we just picked up. I'm trying to read these stats. Let's go here. Boy, this is giving us problems. I don't like this one bit at all. What if we drag this crate? Um, this, if we put here, and we drag this somewhere. I don't know how we just pried that door open. I, I don't even know what's going on, guys. Um, Let's leave this crate on the ground. Okay. Let's come back to our ship real fast. I'm kind of confused. I hope you are too. I really hope you aren't, but... Um, let's grab this crate. I just figured out how to place these things, so that's kind of good. I'm going to go over here. Um, on the ground here, we want to pick this up real fast. We want to take this crate and place it right here. Okay, now we can go ahead and open it. And um, we can put some stuff in there. Because I want to pick up that sword, obviously. We'll keep that there because I think we can stack some stuff. Um, that sword will be able to go right there. Okay. 
And we can get bigger backpacks as we go. We're going to leave this crate here. And hopefully uh, come back and... Uh, that does not fit in that bag. But I can probably put it in my hand. Go back to our ship, put it in this crate. I don't think we're actually going to be fighting anyone out here. Um, inventory. Uh, oops, let's, let's move some things around here. Okay, that crate is now full. And what we can do is bring the other crate in here and place it down on the ground too. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, and uh, uh, we need our PDA so we can actually see what we're doing. And we will drag uh, this crate. Let's go stand next to it, grab it, drag it over here. And that allows us to drag it to our ship. So I guess we didn't need to, I don't know what was going on with that. I don't know if it, maybe it was even a glitch. I think it kind of was, but we apparently gave some type of command that I was not realizing we gave and things were just a little wonky. But here we are. Um, we can put this crate kind of in the corner right here, I think is a good spot for it. It gives us access over here. Uh, we can walk on top of these things just fine too. Um, let's go ahead now and uh, access the inventory on this cur... Okay, we can change the color. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a light that I have uh, I selected. Um, let's go ahead and start storing some stuff in there. Um, we'll do that for now. Okay. I want to go back before we go and explore this new section of this ship that we uh, discovered. I want to check out what's back here. So we got a floor pump, some electrical parts on the floor, um, small mechanical parts, and again, we just got some trash. So it does look like there is a door here. <gasps> oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, That looks like a pump. I, 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 my heart uh, sunk there for a moment. I thought, how are we getting back into the? Are we going to float away? Is this it? Is this is this is this all we got um, with our playthrough? Okay, let's explore this new part here. We got a reactor floor. That that seems like that could be valuable. Let's go ahead and take a look at this rack. And uh, there's some. Oh, uh, this is my first stack of twelve I've ever seen. So that's kind of cool. Um, Oh, that's 16, okay. Um, I'm all for that. Um, and that was this rack right here. Again, just, just cl clarifying uh, for my own sanity. What do we have laying on the ground? Just some more electrical parts. We, uh, so that only stacks up to 10. Um, that's a battery. And I, I can I take that? I don't think I can put that on my ship though. Um, I can definitely see where having a big ship is going to be something we want to do. There's some stuff over here on the floor that I think we want to probably um, some mechanical parts. Uh, so those stack to twenty. And we'll grab that motor. Um, we're, we're starting to run out of room. There is a door here, it looks like. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I'm tempted to take this apart, but I don't want any ex unexpected explosions or anything. There's a bin over here. Doesn't look like there's anything stored in that bin. And I don't think we can get over here. No. Um, just walk this way. There's a motor on the floor here. Some more stuff on the floor that we can pick up. Uh, small electrical parts. 
motor and some trash. Uh, looks like another motor over here. Looks like a cooler, a wall conduit. Um, let's get back to our ship real fast. That's a thruster. And we will try to pry open another door in a moment. I'm not sure how we pried open that first door, but we did. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off our helmet. Uh, refresh ourselves. Okay. Um, do we still have room in this uh, chest here? And the answer really is no. Um, I was just trying to see if this compares to our helmet, but I don't know if that does. I am uh, going to drop these motors right here. This is small mechanical parts, so we can drop those there. Um, and that floor is kind of packed tight. Uh, let's go here, um, open up this crate, and uh, we got some more small mechanical stuff. Um, we will kind of stack that there. Uh, we got some parts. We can do two stacks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going? Where are we going? I think, I don't know what happened. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Okay, you're not going to take off on me, are you? Inventory. <laughs> um, I think I clicked out here by accident. So, small mechanical parts, we can stack that. Um, new nav message. Hey, gee whiz. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, let's, can we attach that there? That'll give us a little bit more room in that bag. If we come into here, um, what I'm wanting to do inside of here is go into this crate, and I'm wanting to keep everything very organized. We have some small mechanical things here that I think uh, really um, I'm going to take that off the floor too. Let's go back to this crate. Um, got this book here. I want to try to keep things together. That's my goal. Keep things together. Does that mean we're hungry? Hyperclamnia? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google that. I don't know what condition that is. Um, we saw a door up here. We're going to go ahead and uninstall this door. And you know what? I think if we had it sword with us, because we were able to pry that door, other door open. I don't mind uninstalling something. It doesn't take that long and high speed here. And play. Looks like another crate in this room here. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's actually in here. Uh, this door is actually on the ground. That's kind of cool. It's a loosed, a door that's been loose and damaged. Uh, we can actually drag this crate. That's great. Um, we go to inventory. Okay. Um, what I want to try to do, what's back this way? Looks like there's something else back that way. Um... I want to go ahead and drag this crate, if we can, back to our ship. Where are we going to put it? I'm thinking we could probably place it up in the front cabin right here, but we're going to have to just maneuver some things around. So let's get into here. Um, okay. So let's move this stuff out of our way. 
We will put that crate right there. Now there's something else I want to do. I want to move this stuff out of my way. And can I put that crate right there? I have room for one more crate here if I needed to, but I like having a clear pathway, a walkway, if you will. Um, not that that is a uh, necessary thing. I like to have things a little bit organized. Let's walk over here. Um, okay. Actually, we let's put that motor here, and we can figure out this other stuff in a moment. Let's open up this crate here. So there's nothing. Okay, that's that's that that's that crate. Sorry. Um, this crate here just has some just little tiny things in there. Another battery. We should probably organize that eventually, but. We'll do that eventually. Now, um, I kind of think this door back here that we discovered, I think that goes to space. That could be wrong. Um... We got some high CO2. We're going to go back to our ship and just deal with that real fast. Every time we go to our ship, I want to organize at least one thing. I don't want to be so fixated on organizing that um, we're not playing the game. Uh, but to me, that is kind of playing the game. Okay, we're full on air again. And what we can do is open this up, inventory. Um... I think we can use this to maybe pry open that door. And I don't think we need this toolbox right now. So, a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to go back here. And can you rotate an object? I wonder. Oh, yes, you can. That's great. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this <laughs> and this take our toolbox and put it right there. I'm going to go back um, to this new crate inventory and I want to put some of these motors in here. And that cleans things up a little bit. Um, there it is. This book goes somewhere else. This motor goes in here. We'll pull that battery out and put that um, battery, pull that battery out. That gives us an extra space there for this computer chip. Uh, let's go back here. Inventory on this crate. And we got two books here. Um, we're just going to throw that book in there for right now. Um, and then if we just go right here, we can throw these batteries on the ground just temporarily. I don't think they can stack. No. Okay. So that's that. Let's go back into here. Oh, I wanted to grab that sword. So inventory. Let's grab that sword because I think we can pry with it. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to do our best to pry with that sword. No, it doesn't look like we can, so we're going to have to just um, dismantle, I guess. Oh, and that's not going to let us dismantle, and I'm not quite sure why. We're going to cancel that task. Um, mm hmm. -hmm. Okay. Well, we're not going to go that way right now, I guess. There's another door that we could access in the station or wherever this ship is. And, uh... Now, we're going... We're walking this way like we're getting something, but I'm not quite sure. So we got a tool, I guess. 
that lets us uh, open this up. And that's kind of cool. I'm not quite sure what we got. If I open up our inventory while we do this, okay, our hacksaw is what we actually needed to uninstall. Um, and that's fine and dandy. It's good to know that you don't need to put stuff in your hand to use it. So we can actually free up this hand here in just a moment. Um, let's go ahead and speed this up while we do this. Okay, and we're going to go into that section in just a second. Let's come back here to our ship. Uh, let's put this... Uh, sword away. Let's go over here and grab our, our, our toolbox. I think we do want to carry that around. And we're going to go into our inventory and just uh, kind of make sure everything's good there. Something's coming. And I'm concerned. Let's see what it is. That we might have to get out of here. We might have to get out of here fast. I am concerned right now. Let me take my helmet off so I can breathe without worrying. I think we're gonna get out of here, guys. I'm concerned. Let's get out of here. Um, We're on docking. Clamps are gone. Use. <laughs> we need to undock. Let's get out of here, guys. Something's going on. Where are we hitting? I feel like we're hitting something. Definitely want to go back there and check out that ship. Not the one that came up on us. Let's see if he leaves. Because I'm pretty sure you have to have like permits to actually scavenge. And we definitely didn't have a permit. <laughs> start uh, heading this direction here and try to bring our speed to zero on all fronts. Now I'm going to speed up forward here. We'll let our inertia carry us. We're going to go ahead and um, just make sure everything is kosher in our ship. It looks like it is. Um, let's repair uh, some stuff in our ship, maybe? I think we should a little bit. 
just as we are drifting along here. And I really love this. You know, I love playing Star Citizen. Um, this is a game that you can fly your ship and move around it at the same time, which I absolutely love that concept. This floor looks pretty bad right here. Let's um, go ahead and restore it. So I'm thinking we put like a corridor back here to like a cargo bay area where we can keep our crates and a living quarters area where we can set up that bed that we got. Okay, let's go ahead and use our nav station and just see where, where that ship is at. He's just kind of hanging around there, isn't he? Um, we're kind of actually approaching this derelict, which I'm okay with. We can check it out. Let's see if we can hail, because we're far enough away, I'm comfortable with hailing. If we switch to comms... So they're out of fuel, but at first they wanted to board us. We can initiate a force dock and we ain't going to do that. That's kind of cool. That is really cool, I think. Um, why don't we go ahead, I don't think there's air back here. Um, let's go ahead and put on our helmet. Let's see what's going on. I'll stop. Okay, we're within three kilometers of this. Let's go ahead and dock with it. I like that you can hear this 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 uh, panel um, when you're out of your seat too, so you you can do stuff and not worry about uh, some things. That's that's just absolutely great. Um, we're gonna initiate docking, and we're gonna have to do a little bit of lining up here. I am vomiting, apparently in my helmet, um, and I'm also hungry. We're going to take care of that in just a moment. I'm really confused.
This is a space station, maybe, of some type? Hold on. Select tiles on the ground and press the Add New Zone button. Okay, I kind of understand the concept of zones. Let's hold off on that for just right now. What is beeping where? We have an alarm going off. But I'm not sure. We are hungry. It might be an alarm for this station here that's going off. I do apologize for the, uh, um, how that might sound. Do we have food? Let's just stand here for a moment and see if we have food. Um, I think they were in pockets, right? Our food? Yeah, right here. We're gonna go ahead and eat that. Now we're stuffed, so that's good. Let's go ahead and put our, our, our shirt back down on the ground and put our suit back on. Well, that deafens the uh, alarm, whatever alarm is beeping. to be a dead body in this station since we can kind of see the whole thing which is weird to me. This is a ship that we might be able to take over. There's stuff here. Um, is there air in here? I don't know. Let's go ahead and examine that body. Maybe uh, floating outside, or maybe conscious and dead. Um, I'm not going to strip him. I'm a little taken back, to be quite honest. We got an O2 alarm here that's going off. Because it's a red light. I think that's the alarm that we hear. Okay, I fixed our problem, guys. <laughs> uh, I bashed that O2 alarm. Um, what did we pick up, anyway? Uh, our fire extinguisher. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's put that back. Um, and we're going to ransack this place for a moment. Um, you know, we could try to st st salvage this facility... But it's so massive, I'm worried about, um, I'm really worried about it just being too big for us. The ship, it looks like it has power. I bet you we could fly it, but um, it is so big. 
I don't think we can handle this right now in the game. But maybe we could. Um, let's go ahead. Here's what I do know. Let's overwrite that. Here's what I do now. We're at the top of our hour. I'm having a great time. I'm going to continue on playing and record another hour, but that's going to be an episode three for you guys. So, thank you for tuning in to Swift Owl 7 Gaming. I'm Swift Owl 7. Make sure you leave a like because that encourages me to um, keep doing these episodes. Uh, give a comment about what you think about this game. I'm really curious if you've played it or have any suggestions for my playthrough. Um, I think our ship is getting pretty full of stuff where we can go and trade and sell some stuff. I don't know how to... Should we even take this ship? Obviously, I'm going to keep playing, so I don't see that comment. But maybe we should take this ship, and I'll explore that idea in Episode 3. So make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for tuning in for this first look edition of Swift Owl 7 Gaming. Bye.